guys, welcome back to the channel and today's video is going to be something different as Alex thinks we're recording something completely different but what he doesn't know is that I'm currently sat waiting for the postman as I've ordered a mystery box from Portsmouth Tranchlers so that is currently on its way, Alex is on his way home from work so hopefully it should be here by the time he's back and once it's here and he's back we'll be back to the video so see you soon Hi guys, uh, welcome back to our channel. In today's video we're going to be talking about... No, we're not going to change a plan because what you don't know is that behind I have actually ordered a mystery box from Portsmouth Tarantulas. <laughs> you have opened it? <laughs> I've opened it to make sure everything was okay. Well I haven't looked in properly but I just wanted to check that the box and everything wasn't damaged inside. Who does that? Who gets a mystery box and then opens it before the person you get it for? Surprise! I just knocked the camera. But yeah, this is probably the last, well, apart from at the end of the video, this is the last you're going to see because it's absolutely boiling. It's like 100 degrees in here. We're both sweating and this one's suffering from hair fever, so... Yeah, but you can probably see because of my eyes. I look high, higher than, yeah, anyone. So we're going <laughs> to get into seeing what's inside and we'll see you at the end of the video. Bye. Right, so here we go with opening the mystery box. I'll let you go. Butch Matthew already opened. <laughs> and we found out I can actually touch these. <laughs> they don't actually feel like normal polystyrene. Butch just was my fun because I kind of know Oh, Bagsy! Around. I've got the band. I hate you. Oh. I think they sent us a sling. Uh, <laughs> we actually have these tarantulas. It's a Mexican fire leg. <laughs> and a golden knee. <laughs> we have two Kellys. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll just put these here. Uh, we don't have these ones though. Black here, oh, we have a curly hair. So we do have that one. That's a curly hair, but we don't have this one, I don't think. Uh, Let's have a look. Trinidad Olive. Yeah, I'm not even going to attempt the scientific name. So that's a Trinidad Olive, a curly hair, Mexican fire leg. I hope you can see these are okay. oh, sorry. And the uh, golden knee. So these will be getting rehoused in just a second. So we'll be back with you shortly. So the first trench that's getting rehoused is the Mexican fire leg. So Sorry oh. if the camera keeps wobbling, Alfie's decided to try and nibble, in, uh, nibble at the tripod. Yeah.
And now we're rehousing the Golden Knight. That looks like it's ready to melt. Come on. Come on, you little beauty. You really don't want to go there. There you go. Started webbing the container. Now we're rehousing the Trinidad Olive. I can't see what I'm doing if it's facing that way. I better go to Rock and see. I don't know if you can. We just want to get this in before we end the video that we give Portsmouth Tarantulas a five star review. We couldn't have got a better service from them the customer service is amazing because i messaged them a few days beforehand and the response was more or less immediate it was amazing couldn't think of anyone better to go to for the tarantulas they were in perfect health decent sizes and we, you don't get to see the curly hair get rehoused as it was late when we did it because we had to go out and get another tank and set it up um and you don't get to see the full fire leg set up as we had a bit of an escape but it's in there now and I'll give you a quick look at everything but yeah five star to Portsmouth Tarantulas thanks again <laughs>
I've only had a two and a half year. But I wasn't sure how old she was when I rescued her to start with. So it's just a bit raw at the minute. So I'm going to end the video here. But thanks guys. <laughs>